Well, if you couldn't tell, we're going out bass fishing today. Got to get the boat ready, and we'll be out on the water. So your boy got a couple new toys recently, and I'm going to be fishing with them today. I didn't really plan on fishing with both of them today, but I got an excuse to try them out. The first thing that I'm super stoked for that I got a, actually a little bit while back is this baby right here. So if you guys have been watching the videos, I did one at the Hookup Tackle. They had the new Depths Daiwa Collab Z2020 and they had it on sale at the time. It was the last one in stock and I'm like, dude, I have to grab it. So there it is, brand new, just pulled it up with 20 pound fluorocarbon. And I wasn't gonna use it just yet. I was gonna get a brand new rod for it, but the old Z200 that I got, I ended up kind of breaking it, so it's kind of out of commission. And I wanted to fish the other new thing that I got that I'm really stoked to have. That is this thing here. A new Depths 250, it's an OG. It's like a repaint of one of their original trout colors. This thing looks sick in the light too this thing is badass it's super bright has a lot of flash the colors look good so i'm gonna be fishing with this thing today as well as the hinkle trout and my wagtail and yeah this thing hopefully should get bit this season so decided to like say hey why not have a depths reel with the depths bait so i'm gonna pair that up on my eight foot six lowdown customs and uh we're gonna see how it goes All right then. All right, so these are the setups. Got a Hinkle Trout, Wagtail, and the Depths 250. Let's stop fooling around. Let's get the boat hitched up to the truck, and let's get for fishing. All right, so we just made it down to the lake. I'm not gonna waste any more time. It looks juicy out here. Everything's rigged up, ready to go. So let's launch the boat, and let's get right to fishing. Well, it's that time of the day to pull out the graph and start fishing deep. Got the transducer set up. I went around, kind of fished the docks in the marina, nothing. I fished some shallow grass out here and then back there, nothing. So now we're gonna be fishing some deep water with the soft bait out here on some of these ledges and see if we can't buy a bite. It's been kind of tough. Set up this graph and see what we can find. All right, well, we got the graph going on. So this is where we are. Kind of have an outline. We're gonna be fishing from the green casting into the, like the deeper blue stuff. Looking over here on the down imaging to see if we can't find bait fish or just different structures. So let's go around and see what we can get. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Yo, does this kid ever catch any fish in these videos? For the most part, as of recently, no. It's been very tough fishing. Um, it seems like it's very small windows, and you kind of have to be right on top of them to get a bite on the swim bay right now. But what I remembered is I never showed you guys the last fish that I caught. And the last fish that I caught was actually the biggest fish that I've caught in this year. It was like five and a half. It was small. And so... Normally, for the past few years, I've been able to catch, you know, eight and nine pound fish. But this year, I just haven't really caught anything big. So I'm going to show you guys that, that footage right now. I ended up catching that fish on the DRT, the Clash 9. I was on a pretty good bite at the time. Um, but that bite completely switched, and the fish are now more offshore. So while I graph around and find a spot to fish, I'll show you guys that footage right now.
crash line. Thanks. I fished around on some of these ledges and flats. I mean, I found a couple fish, nothing too crazy, but it just didn't seem like they wanted to eat what I was throwing. I mean, I've been seeing a couple bait balls from either the gizzard chat or even a couple little schools of yellow bass, but it doesn't seem like they're really active right now. And it's pretty much all about timing when it comes down to throwing these swim baits because there are just times when they really don't want to eat, you know, a bigger profile bait. And right now, it just doesn't seem like they want to eat a bigger profile bait. I mean, I bet you if I had a spoon, and I probably could have caught in a couple yellow bass or even some largemouth. But obviously, I'm not throwing a spoon today. So we're going to go try out the marina. They have a little bit more shade just because of the sun. So we're going to see if some fish have moved up in the marina. And uh, let's get over there and see what's up. So I kind of wanted to give some context to this actual video. And so the other night I was out on YouTube just watching some videos about swim baits and stuff like that. And I came across one of Tactical Bassin's newest videos. And the title of it was called Winter Swim Bait Fishing is Easy. And then in parentheses, I'll prove it. And so I was very intrigued on the video in itself. So I clicked on it. And I was going to assume that it was going to be a video about, you know, Matt going out there to Clear Lake, you know, kind of explaining why he believes winter swim bait fishing can be easy, you know, and how he can, you know, figure out these fish during the winter time. And I, um, I watched the video and it kind of didn't have any of that. Yeah, I mean, so for the most part of, in this video, I mean, he's going out to, I don't know, he doesn't specify... If he's fishing a hump or a ledge or anything like that, but he's just throwing out an 8-inch Huddleston and he's smoking fish left and right. And so, it, it, he kind of, I mean, he proves that, I guess, winter swim bait fishing can be easy, but he doesn't explain why he believes that it's easy. I mean, there's no explanation of like, well, you know, I think it's easy because of this, or I think it's easy because of that. No, he's just kind of goes to one of the best bass lakes in the entire world and he just catches fish. So I mean he doesn't really explain a lot. Of, it's a still a very entertaining video and from an entertaining aspect it's a good video. I mean he catches a few swim bait fish in there which I would kill to catch right now but you know the whole title kind of just throws me off. The whole winter swim bait fishing is easy. I mean today it wasn't easy. I mean, I was fishing ledges, humps, I was fishing deep water, shallow water, I was throwing, you know, soft baits and hard baits, and I was just throwing a bunch of different stuff. I didn't get a bite, I didn't catch a fish, I didn't even see a fish. So, I think the title is kind of misleading, and I just want people to know that have watched this video, like, winter swim bait fishing, for the most part, for most people out there, is not easy. A lot of people grind the entire winter season for a couple of bites and they are going to be normally bigger grade fish but in all of my years of fishing during the winter time it's never easy it's more like all right i fished for 10 hours and i caught one fish and to me that's a good day other times you know i've gone out there where i've gotten like three or four bites during the winter time which is incredible but 
it's not easy. I mean, if everybody was, if it was easy, then everybody would, you know, have the same results as Matt. Matt is obviously a stick on Clear Lake, so he obviously understands certain things some people don't. So it's kind of a misleading title. I saw it. It kind of like tweaked me a little bit, but again, he's on one of the best bass lakes in the world. And obviously, it's probably a lot easier to grind on that lake than some of the lakes in the country. So that's kind of the whole context to the video about today. I kind of want to know how you guys fish during the winter time. Is it easy for you guys or is it kind of hard to catch fish during the winter time? Let me know. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, go out there and chase your dreams.